another chord that springs to mind that I use quite frequently is instead of this uh, E major I take the shape I was using for the B chord before this one where I started off with an A2 I slid them up and then I placed this finger on to give me the root that chord also gave me the C sharp minor 7 well if I move this up further so that this finger is on the 7th fret and I play all the way of chords I get a very clean E chord which you will definitely have heard if you've listened to um, many worship songs. This is a useful chord there's not really much in it um, the E major has more notes in it let's just say than this chord here but this can be a big chord to start something with and of course this is useful then to go to the B which was sliding all the way down to so this finger is on the second fret and then sliding down to the A2 these two fingers here don't move the hand moves but this chord shape stays the same I'll show you what that sounds like when I'm putting those three chords together starting with this high E Let's just move around a little bit thinking I would naturally go to there was after the E the B A E B that F sharp minor replacement chord F sharp minor bar chord would look like this and sound like this in another video I was doing the E major run up here 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 and here if I put that chord in this F sharp minor after the B let's see what that sounds like so that naturally fits in there now with all these chord shapes the more you play around with them the more you'll find which chords fit with which other chords and you'll naturally be as you play around and of course this is the great way to be writing songs is to be playing around with chords singing a melody see which chord naturally comes next there easy